There are stages of maturity you ought to attain before entering into a relationship or marriage. Financial maturity, spiritual maturity, moral maturity, emotional maturity, and social maturity. I'll be talking about these five stages of maturity. First, financial maturity. Financial maturity does not actually connote the amount you have in your account, maybe millions or billions of naira. But financial maturity means you can actually set a budget according to your wallet or according to your bank account, or better still, how you can actually invest that little or multiply that little you have. Yes, that is when you are financially matured. Second one, which is spiritual maturity. Spiritual maturity is not the level of how you can scalabush or how, your, how you think your tongues carry fire. Spiritual maturity gives you strength that even when you know that that person is um, who God asks you to marry or you are doing the right thing actually. So when you are spiritually matured is whenever things are happening, even while you are being led to do that thing, you can actually key into it and start praying for God's promises to come to pass upon um, that situation or that issues. Because in life, life is not always everyday sunshine. There are rain days, there are stormy days. And when you understand this, spiritually, we allow you to prepare and to also tackle any storm. The third one is moral maturity. Moral maturity helps you to understand human nature and how you can actually deal with them without overstepping their boundaries. This helps you when dealing with your in-laws, when dealing with people around you, and this will go a long way in your life. The next one is social maturity. Social maturity is not about the level of partiness in you, like going to party every Saturday or every Sunday, and they are seeing you at the front changing from one gale to another show fee and um, shoes. Yeah, social maturity is, helps you to understand what is happening in your environment. For example, fuel subsidy remover. This helps you to know the implication of fuel subsidy remover. And this helps you to plan your family, plan yourself ahead of that subsidy remover and how to actually manage yourself during that period and lastly is emotional maturity some persons can be giants looking dark and lovely figure eight and not emotionally matured a man that is not emotionally matured will continue to bruise a wife ego or people around them a woman that is not emotionally matured will cry at everything and will not do anything crying is not the issue yet but crying and picking yourself up to attack or to do that or to work out that thing that makes you to cry so emotional maturity helps you to stand fame and help you to stand well to attack a situation it will hinder you from going often into depression normally there are situations that might warrant you to go into depression but this emotional maturity will bring you to some extent coupled with spiritual maturity to pray and to make those things work better for you i believe you enjoyed this episode if you want more on this kindly drop that in the comment section and follow for more tips